Hey, good day everyone. Pasay Bonner here. This is the fourth game for today, January 2, 2024. A Western Conference matchup between San Antonio Spurs and Memphis Grizzlies. that will happen at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Bonner. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. San Antonio Spurs, as we approach this game, they got a record of 5 wins and 27 losses. While for Memphis Grizzlies, they are having a record of 10 and 22. Both teams are struggling big time. As we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Passe Baller. But for those who'd want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you may actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger. Just check on the descriptions of these videos and you can actually see the details right there. And by the way, the spread that is given, let me double check. Because it's getting bigger earlier. Let me see if there have been any changes. The spread that is given is uh, minus 11.5, and that's given towards Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies, they would be having the home court advantage on this. In terms of momentum, well, it's hard to pick because both teams are actually coming off losses. Um, approaching this game, Memphis Grizzlies, they are on a three-game losing slump, while San Antonio Spurs, they are on back-to-back -back losses. For their last 10 games, though, Memphis Grizzlies, they have won four, and San Antonio Spurs, they have only won a couple of games. Plus, considering that Memphis Grizzlies had um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a run or a little bit of a streak, winning streak at that, I'm gonna say that I'll, I'll go ahead and pick Memphis Grizzlies uh, with a slight advantage in terms of confidence and moment and, and momentum. Plus, they are actually ahead of San Antonio Spurs. They are at number 13 in the West. Well, the Spurs, they are dead last at number 15. Now, uh, in terms of fatigue, uh, both teams actually rested last night, right? Um, yep, that's correct. So both teams are coming off rest, so we can just skip that part. So let's go ahead and uh, check on the availability and the health of both teams. Um, starting with San Antonio Spurs, now this is actually huge. Because I can see three names uh, in the IL for the Spurs. Uh, the first two are confirmed out, and those are Charles Massey and Zach Collins. Both are actually bigs. Um, Collins actually play as a you know as a backup center uh, for for Wembenyama, and without Zach Collins, man, um, it's it's gonna hurt. Uh, it's gonna hurt their pain for sure. Um, Keldon Johnson is also in IL, but. He is tagged as probable for this game. So the likelihood of him playing for this game is a bit high. So again, for the Spurs, we got two players confirmed out. And we have Keldon Johnson listed as probable. Now let's take a look at Memphis Grizzlies. For Memphis Grizzlies, I can only see a couple of names down here. Um, where's that? Oh, there you go. So it's Brandon Clark and Steven Adams. Both confirmed out. So... Memphis Grizzlies, they would have a slight advantage over uh, over San Antonio Spurs in terms of availability. As again, they only have a couple of players uh, listed out right there. For uh, the Spurs, they have three. Uh, yes, Johnson may be playing, but we ain't sure how you know how healthy Keldon Johnson will be. Right, uh, just like what I said earlier, um, it's actually the Memphis Grizzlies has got the minus in, the, in terms of the spread. It was it. What was that again? 11.5, right? It's minus 11.5. Um, it's really big, <laughs> especially considering the fact that Memphis Grizzlies, you know, they are coming off losses too. So um, this one's a bit tough, but I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go and pick Memphis Grizzlies still. They are at home. Um, these two teams actually met uh, already uh, this season, um, and when they when these two met, um, it was actually in Spurs's in Spurs' house. And Memphis Grizzlies actually defeated San Antonio in San Antonio uh, in San Antonio's home. Um, they actually won by 12 points. I'm talking about Memphis Grizzlies. And mind you, they did that without John Moran. And John Moran is back. John Moran is averaging like around 25 points per game. So um, Memphis Grizzlies should have an easier, an easier time beating San Antonio Spurs this time around. 
Um, if the question is regarding the spread, again, I'll go ahead and stick with Memphis Grizzlies still because they, they already covered that spread even without John Moran. Plus, again, the absence of Zach Collins should be, you know, should really hurt San Antonio Spurs big time because Zach Collins, um, the, he hasn't been talked about by a lot of people, but Zach Collins, he is actually a, 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 an efficient backup for Rembignama. He actually defends the paint uh, well. He also gives them a lot of rebounds, you know, and, you know, decent, decent amount of points. So without Zach Collins, it'll be hard for San Antonio Spurs, especially Grizzlies love to attack the paint and the basket. So our pick on this one would be Memphis Grizzlies minus 11.5. I'm expecting Grizzlies to go to go back into the win, to the winning column in San Antonio's expense. Again, that's Memphis minus 11.5. Peace out. Passe love. God bless.